Hello, 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 I'm Laura Laura and today I thought that we should chat about Trump. I never expected to be making this video, I genuinely thought that I'd be sitting here saying congrats to Clinton, but wow, <laughs> Trump won by a lot, it wasn't even that close, it was a lot, and I'm still in shock. On Wednesday morning I woke up with a really sick feeling in my stomach and I rolled over, checked my phone and it was BBC saying that Trump had won Ohio. And then I just kept getting more and more notifications. So that must have been, I think that was about six o'clock in the morning and I was like, there, there isn't a good feeling right now. And then I went to the breakfast at my school and uh, we had an American breakfast and as I walked in, I walked in about 20 to 8 in the morning and Trump had just won. Well, he knew he was going to win. He was walking on stage with his victory speech. And, sorry, I can tell that I'm really lopsided, my camera tripod's being really dodgy. And I, I just couldn't believe, I have to say, the speech that he did was one of the best times I've ever heard him speak. And... I, I have no words. Everyone was asking my opinions and I just stood there and I just couldn't get any words out. I can't believe a man that said that it, it, he can grab women by the pussy is now running, is now president of the United States. Like, it baffles me. It genuinely baffles me. But you know what? I believe everything happens for a reason and maybe this wasn't Clinton's time. Um, if, I, if I had it my way, it would have been Trump and Bernie. Uh, <laughs> Bernie, feel the burn. Because, yeah, I, I was never, um, I, I never hated Clinton. I don't know, I never hated her, I just preferred Bernie. I think you can have your preferences. If everyone liked the same thing, the world would be a very boring place. And yeah, I wanted it to be Bernie and maybe that would have created a bit more of a divide with Trump and Clinton sorry, with Trump and Bernie, if he had been running, because Bernie supporters were saying they'd much rather vote for Trump than they would for Clinton. So, so Democrat supporters would say they'd much rather vote for Trump than Clinton because Bernie wasn't running. So, yeah, and I feel like this, obviously the whole race was done on personality. I came away from that, even though a politics student, not knowing what any of their policies were at the end of it, apart from Trump wanting to build the wall with Mexico, like, it, it was crazy, it was, it was a personality contest and I guess people preferred Trump and he won and congrats to Trump because that would never happen in the UK. A businessman with no political experience would not be Prime Minister and yeah, Trump was born rich, grew up rich, had money to stay rich and now he's just going to get richer and he wants to reduce taxes and so I think people in the higher tax bracket are going to see their incomes increase by double figures, so around 10%, and those on lower incomes is about 2%. And, um, yeah, I think, and there was other things about him wanting to stop funding for Planned Parenthood, so that's all things to do with, um, it's all things to do with sex, so like sex education, everything like that. So I remember I saw Katy Perry's Instagram post saying that Planned Parenthood is where she learnt about sex because her parents were so Christian, they would never talk to her about it. So that's where she learnt about STIs and everything. And he wants to stop funding for that. But he is okay with abortion as long as it's, as long as the baby is going, is created by incest, if the mother's life is in danger, if the kid's going to be disabled, is that right? So, yeah, he, but he's anti-abortion other than those grounds, but I mean, which is actually quite surprising for a Republican candidate, because you look at most of them and they're anti, anti-abortion full stop, no matter, even if the mum's going to die because of it. And I've got my friend Sarah, who is part American, and she said that the Americans worry a lot less than the, than the British do, and we are worrying a heck of a lot more than they are over in the, over in the States. And... We, we just got to get on with it really. I mean, Trump won. He trumped us all. And yeah, I'm, I'm still in shock. I, I have no words to say other than congrats Trump. And I said this, right, we elected a Tory government straight out in 2015. Brexit in 2016. Trump inaugurated in 2017. What's going to happen in 2018? All, all I can say is in 2020. 
Corbin. <laughs> I know a lot of you are going to be sat there shaking your heads at me. Anyway, I, that was my opinion on Trump. I, I genuinely thought as soon as the FBI cleared Hillary last week, well, a couple of weeks ago now, she was going to win it. But I don't think they cleared her soon enough. A week earlier, she might have been, she might have been elected. And I saw this thing on Snapchat and it was this woman. She was like, I'd much rather vote for a racist, sexist, um, mad, like, old man than a criminal. Hillary's not a criminal. She didn't get convicted. The FBI cleared her. But you know what? If that's, if that's the way that you think about it, fair play, that's your opinion. <laughs> I disagree. But that, that's just me. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Everything you always do. Now, please be careful with what you comment down there. We don't want riots on this YouTube video. We want a discussion. We want to keep it positive here. We, you can comment your opinion, but remember to keep it constructive. No swearing, no nasty language, please. I know we're talking about Trump and he is probably not a good example of using kind language, but <laughs> thank you so much for watching. I will see you next Tuesday at 6 p.m. for another Let's Chat with Laura Laura. See you then, bye.